So another new feature in version 4.1 is an updated uh, Chromium browser that's embedded right now. So in the past, you guys know the, the browser was a bit gitchy. Uh, it's because we use a browser called Qt WebKit. that's built into the Qt framework. Um, so we've gone and updated that to uh, Chromium browser now. So when you look at the browser performance, you're going to notice a pretty big um, enhancement in terms of how it performs and all the functionality you can do in it. So you see here, I jumped into YouTube. If I want to go to uh, my YouTube uh, studio, um, everything works. Um, I can play back video. All right, so let's go to uh, my latest videos here. So today we pushed out the uh, health monitoring. So I want to view that video. Just go in here and play it. So everything's working. The other thing is it remembers your login information for Google. Um, I haven't tried it on a lot of other websites, but I assume it's a similar thing. So um, it seems like cookies are supported or authentication is supported. Um, basically, it's a pretty large browser upgrade and allows you to do a lot of different things. Um, I pulled in Google Sheets, Google Maps, Google Analytics. Uh, email account basically everything synced and you see here I'm logged in uh, with a network optics account so as I'm logged in to all the Google services my accounts coming along with me as well so pretty pretty significant upgrade um, allows you to do a lot more soft integrations between uh, network optics and uh, third-party systems um, so you can see you know just a lot better uh, usability overall so we look forward to seeing what kind of uh, soft integrations you guys can do with like third-party devices, uh, third-party web apps, um, even using Zapier to create uh, sheets and reports is an option now where you can combine them all into one layout. So there's really a lot of things you can do. So this is the Chromium browser update in 4.1. Uh, give it a shot. Um, one of the things as well um, is actually a feature that came along with this that's really important for some of the integrations out there. Uh, is the ability to download uh, from the browser itself. So you see I'm still in the client and I want to go and download a uh, this video. I believe I can do it up here, download. So now you can see downloads work uh, from the embedded browser as well. So that's an additional feature that comes along with that new browser. So give it a go, um, see if you guys can uh, break it. Um, tell us where you're having issues. Uh, during the beta feedback and then of course go to the support portal um, in the community section and give us your feedback in the beta feedback topic. Thanks guys.